towards the beginning of your lecture, yes, uh, you said that uh, we agreed that Big Bang occurred, but it does not deny the fact that we exist. I mean, the fact that Big Bang occurs, it, it is not contradicting the fact that there can be a creator who gave rise to that Big Bang. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, so let me just phrase it. So yes. because I just no, I just want to rephrase it. Your no, state. No, uh, my question. Oh, okay. Is, okay. So I am assuming that you are saying that uh, somehow or the other it was God who is responsible for our existence. Oh yeah. So good point. So your question is. So am I saying that it was God who's the res who is responsible for existence? For our existence. Yeah. For what do I think? Right. Yes. What is my faith claim? Right. I would say it is not God who is starting the fuse. It is God doing every bit every time right now. In other words, without God doing something right now, nothing would be here. Okay. It's not just a starting condition, right? It is the entire interval of spectrum that's going on. So do you think is there any purpose that God wants to fulfill, fulfill by doing this? Oh, is there a purpose that God wants to fulfill by, by this act of yes. creation and keeping creation by going? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a good one. So, <laughs> so you're asking me not just to make a faith claim about existence of God, but the mind of God. Yeah, there's, yeah. <laughs> so can we get off tape? Uh, <laughs> so uh, I think each faith has their own explanation or their own thought as to why God did this, right? So the Christian faith, um, gosh, that's a really good question. I'd say the Christian faith has one of the default answers, right? Because this is one question that people ask overall, like, why are we here? What is the purpose of all of this? The Christian faith would say these following words, right? It is for the glory of God. It is for his glory. Now, we might say, oh, pff, there's this person who creates, and he has the audacity to have me worship him. That's, you know, who is this person to even ask me to do such a thing? Well, the answer is, he's the creator. So let me give you an example using Legos. You know, when I was a kid, I loved Legos, right? Absolutely adored them. It turns out I still do, but that's a side story. <laughs> right, so um, let's pretend I'm building uh, a Lego city. Right? I worked hard all night building a Lego city. I put my, my Lego guy in the city that I've created for him. What if this guy started talking back to me, complaining about his Lego city I would have melted him so fast, maybe so slow, right? <laughs> the audacity of this person to challenge me, I gave him everything. And yet what, what makes my mind quiver with joy is that this God, in my faith, is a good God. We do talk back to him, and yet he, amazingly, who deserves glory for his definition of being a creator. We are just created objects. There is no comparison that we have in this world to make that analogy of what it means to be creator and creation. That doesn't exist. So to make such an analogy will be silliness. But to me, that this person who has the power and the justification to do this, yet decides not to melt us, right? But in fact, the Christian faith says that he took the burden for us, for our audacity. He decided to come as one of his beings and die on our behalf, on that punishment. That's, to me, that's, uh, what can I say? That's fantastic. That's mind-blowing. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.